things. So next after class, we are going to start chapter. Madam rides the bus. So as we have read that Wali, she has undertaken the journey to the town and ultimately after having a ride in the bus, she is supposed to come back and she is coming in the same bus. Okay, so now let us read further. Paragraph four. Won't your mother be looking for you? The conductor asked when he gave the girl her ticket. No one will be looking for me. Now the conductor asked the young girl that is there nobody who is looking for you? So this we have read, I think so. And we have read that she was poking her nose in the conversation between her mother as well as her aunt. Okay, the next page we have read. So just to make a link, I'm reading from here. And when? And where you have been, said her aunt, when Wali came in, she spoke very casually, not expecting a reply. Reply. So Wali smiled at her mother and aunt went on with their conversation. So when her aunt noticed and her mother noticed that Wali has come back after quite a long time, they asked where she has been. And ultimately just asking this means they are not paying so much of attention to this young girl and ultimately they carried on their conversation further. Yes, you are right. So many things in our midst and in the world outside. So I was just talking uh, with you yesterday about this thing that they, when they said, Yes, there are so many things around us, amidst us and in the world that we are not knowing what is happening. It means that she is talking about the same thing which is happening around the world. And at the same time, she is, you can say, ironically, the situation is also referring to this, uh, to her, you, to her also, as she did not know that even what her own daughter is doing. How can we possibly know everything? And even when we do know about something we often can't understand it completely can be and she said that there are so many things that are happening around us and sometimes we don't even be able to interpret what is happening oh yes breathed wali wali said oh yes what asked her mother what's that you say oh i was just agreeing with what you said about things happening without our own knowledge so wali said actually i'm not saying anything i'm just referring to the things which are happening around us and sometimes it is without our own knowledge. Again, Wali is really referring that she, even she is not able to uh, know that she has gone somewhere. She has gone to the town, made a ride in the bus, got a ride in the bus, and now she has come back. So ultimately, what is there? She is referring to that idea that even she did not know what has happened around. So... Oh, I was just agreeing with you. Just a chit of a girl, she. And uh, yet look how she spokes, how she pokes her nails into our converse conversation just as though she were a grown lady. So her aunt got irritated. She said, you are just a young child. And why you have interrupted in our conversation? How you are answering in our conversation? That's really wrong on your part. Polly smiled to herself. She didn't want them to understand her smile. But then there wasn't much chance of that was there. She said, see, she smiled to herself. She didn't want them to understand her smile. They, she never wanted that they should know. They should come to know where she has gone. But then there wasn't much chance of that was there. She said there wasn't much chance of that means there is not any chance that you will come to know about each and everything that is happening around you. So this is all about Wali. Okay that we have read and we have ultimately come to know that children have deep thinking, they can do whatever they want and sometimes they go to any extent in order to fulfill their wish, okay? So as I told you yesterday that further we will continue with the question answers. So let us start with the question answers, discussion of the question answers. The first question is, what was Wali's deepest desire? So, anybody in your class who would like to answer, what was Wali's deepest desire? Except Anshika, nobody will speak, I think. Because you will speak only when your answer gets wrong. Then you will say, ma'am, why this? Because ultimately you won't participate in discussion. Am I right? Yes, Bhumika, give the answer. One minute, let me unmute you. Just a moment, please.
Yes, Bhumika, give the answer. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> what ma'am Wali deeply desired to ride on the bus mm -hmm. that she saw every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, day after day, she watched the bus and gradually mm -hmm. uh, her, desi her desire increased and she wanted to uh, ride the bus. Mm -hmm. This wish uh, became stronger and stronger until it was uh, not completed. Oh. So what was Wali's deepest desire? Wali's deepest desire was to have a ride in the bus that runs or that uh, covers its, you can say, daily tour from her village to that of the town. She has never gone in a bus. So her deepest desire was to ride, to have a ride in that bus. And for that purpose, she painstaking, painstakingly, she has collected much information from the, uh, from the neighbors as well as the other persons who got a chance to have a ride in the bus. Okay. So next, second question. How did Wali plan her bus ride? And what did she find about the bus and how did she save up the fare? So how did Wali plan for her bus ride? So how did she plan? She has planned painstakingly and by asking discreet questions to her neighbors as well as the persons in the street who are daily going who are daily going through the bus, okay? So what did she do? She has asked some discreet questions from the neighbors as well as the other persons who got a chance to have a ride in the bus. So she asked about, uh, about the timings of the departure of the bus and the time of the coming back of the bus from the, from the town. And moreover, she has asked, also asked about the one-sided fare. Okay, she wanted to gather complete information about bus service and ultimately she has sacrificed her desire to have peppermints, to have ride in the merry-go-round in the village fair and to have other sweets. She stifled her temptation. Okay, so what she did, she stifled her temptation. She stiffened her temptation to have all these sweets, including peppermint and the other ones. And finally, she was able to save 60 paise that were required for her journey to the town and coming back from the town. As she knew that the one-sided pair was only 30 paise, that was not a big amount. But for her, it really cost a fortune for her. Okay. As a young child, she was saving every coin that was coming on her way, right? So this is the answer to the second question. Next is, what kind of a person is Wali? So this is, this we can do on books. So now see here, uh, some, it is given, blanks are given, see here. Some blanks are given here. The words you will fill, in are the clues to your answer. Okay, let us fill in the words. Stop the bus, stop the bus and a tiny hand was raised. What, what was the word here? And the tiny hand was raised. Yes, what was the word here used? You remember in the chapter? It was commandingly. It was commandingly. Okay, so next. Yes, I dash go to town. Dash, I go to town according to the chapter. What it was, it was simply. I simply. Yes, Anshika. Okay, let me uh, wait a minute. Let me unmute you. Yes, Anshika, you are unmuted. Simply. Next is, there's nobody here. Dash, she said haughtily. I have paid my 30 paise like everyone else. So what is the answer here? I, there's nobody here who is a child, she said in a haughty manner. Okay, there's nobody who is a child. Okay. Next afterwards, never mind, I can dash. You don't have to help me, I can 
got on by myself i can get on sorry i can get on by my self you need not to have help me i am not a child i tell you she said how she said she said irritably okay how she said she said in an irritable manner irritably next you need not bother about me i dash wali said turning her face toward the window and staring out i can take a i can take care of myself i can take care of myself okay i can take care of myself <coughs> next then she turned to the conductor and said well sir i hope what well sir i hope to see you again okay to see you again <coughs> yes so the next question is why does the conductor refer to wali as madam why does the conductor refer to wali as madam why the conductor was referring wali as madam can anybody tell yes yes bhumika speak up yes ma'am ma'am the conductor called wali madam as she behaved like a grown up and did not think that she was a child ha huh, yes she also his help and told him that she can manage on her own very good she can manage on her own this can be the first the second point also so the conductor um, sorry it is conductor conductor refers to wali as women as uh, madam because she was behaving like a grown up or she was behaving like a like and like a confident woman okay woman she was behaving like that and ultimately she was when she was when she raised her hand commandingly to board the bus she said that she did not need any help and she could get on by herself okay this shows her confidence moreover she has also given her 30 paise to purchase the ticket on her own and she was all alone there to have a ride in the bus okay so this is the reason why the conductor he has seen the qualities of confidence as well as you can say bit maturity which was beyond his beyond her age so it is because of this reason that the conductor called her as madam clear answer right next afterwards the next question is find the lines in the text we tell you that wally was enjoying her ride you know that we have read that how she was looking towards the window okay she was looking at all the landscape devouring the landscape yes devouring the landscape was the phrase used okay she was devouring the landscape she was looking towards the mountains palm trees and all that so when she has seen the cow galloping in front of the bus she clapped her hands in glee okay this was also this also shows that she was quite happy enjoying her ride okay next is why does what does wali why does wali refuse to look out of the window on her way back so on her way back why does wali did not want to look at her you can say look out of the window so why she did not want to look out of the window yes bhumika you can speak don't mute yourself again and again i am unmuting you yes ma'am ma'am wali uh, wali refused to look out of the window on her way back as she saw the dead body of the cow who was running towards the bus when she was going to town Hmm. this made her sad and frightened yes why she was she was refused to look back because she has seen the same cow okay she has seen the same cow in life when she was going towards the town but while coming back when she has seen that cow lying onto the ground and in a very frightened manner okay with legs wide spread and eyes fixed on towards one gaze only that really provided that animal a horrible look okay so it is because of that horrible look and she has also observed and faced both life and death during her journey and she felt quite saddened at the scene of uh, at the scene of dead cow in front of her so this is the reason why she felt sad okay so next is 
what does wali mean when she says i was just agreeing with what you said about things happening without our knowledge so this i have discussed with you yes so what it means yes speak out the answer why yes ruhani will tell me yes ruhani i'm happy to hear from you yes ruhani good morning ma'am good morning beta hmm ma'am wali's mother said that many things happen around us which we are actually unaware of wali meant wali uh, also agreed with this as she had made a trip to the town and returned without anyone being unaware where she saw many different kind of people places and things which she earlier thought that never existed thus she agreed to what her mother said that things happen around us without our knowledge very even very good rohani i am really happy to hear from you because you are really very you can say i really appreciate your skills of speaking you are always very you can say eager to answer and answering in a very effective way very good keep it up okay so i thank you that you have you have got your section change that's good that you have entered here i really appreciate your presence and i hope that you are giving a good competition to your other classmates so now uh, when what does she meant uh, i was agreeing with what you said about things happening so she was first of all agreeing uh, referring to not to that of the she did not poke nose or she did not you can say she did not want to uh, interfere in the conversation that was going on between her aunt as well as her mother but she actually was referring to the to her successful attempt okay she was referring to the successful attempt that she had made she had got her ride in the bus without the knowledge of her parents without the knowledge of her mother and actually she wanted to feel she was feeling happy okay she was feeling happy as well as she was relaxed also to feel that nobody has come to know that she has made a visit to the town and nobody has come to know okay so now the author describes the things that wali sees from an 8 years old point of view so how can you say that how can you say that the writer has explained the things from the point of view of an 8 year old girl Ma'am, can I answer? Yes, please. As she was fascinated by the bus hmm. and watching the bus fill with the new set of people each time. Okay. Uh, the author describes that uh, that a child is attracted towards the different colors and the new looks of the bus. Hmm. And. Uh, and afterwards uh, when she saw a cow running in front of the bus mm -hmm. uh, she refused to look outside the window on her return journey okay so this let just me like the uh, right right okay. okay so now let me explain it in a you can say more elaborate way so i think that i should pick up some instances from the chapter okay so you can have your books in front of you so from the very start when she has boarded the bus okay so uh, the writer has explained the bus according to the perception of a child that it was a new bus okay which was painted white okay and there was a beautiful clock the seats were quite soft and luxurious so this is also from the you can say view point of wali okay and after that in the next paragraph it is still mentioned that wali devoured everything with her eyes it means she was anxiously looking towards everything that was coming on her way okay she was started looking outside although her you can say vision was blinded by a canvas it means that she was very anxious to see outside and on looking outside what she has seen she has seen canal then she has seen palm trees then grassland and distant mountains and the sky was blue and blue and the entire landscape was filled with green color okay so what does this shows this shows that her you can say perception of the landscape right and then afterwards um then afterwards she has also seen that uh, that old lady quite repulsive her big ear lobes again shows 
the you can say the nature of that young girl her big ear lobes okay and the betel juice that was spilling out of her mouth again this shows the personality of the woman through the eyes of a young girl okay so then afterwards when the bus rolled on cutting across a bare landscape now rushing through a tiny hamlet okay so ultimately this all shows okay then uh, that uh, life through the eyes of a young girl and moreover when she has also told about the young girl okay wali clapped her hands with glee when a young cow with his tail high in the air it was running very fast in the middle of the road in front of the bus okay then the bus it slow to a crawl okay and how he was how the uh, you can say cow was galloping it was of course creating fun uh, fun for wali so this is how she the writer has explained the complete image of uh, the life to the uh, to the eyes of a young girl it was actually her fantasy land okay her fascination that is being displayed here okay right so i have discussed these questions beforehand but before that we are also left with oral comprehension that we have to do so let us do that oral comprehension let me show you here in the screen also here it is the next one yes this is the first oral comprehension yes what was wali's favorite pastime this is quite easy one what was wali's favorite pastime yes what was wali's favorite pastime wali wali's favorite pastime was to stand in the doorway or in the door of the house and to see the and to see the uh, to see the latest happenings in the street she is always looking outside to see the bus daily going to the town and number of passengers who were boarding that bus that was her favorite pastime next question is what was a source of unending joy for wally and what was her strongest desire what was the source of unending joy what was that what was the source of unending joy for wally yes <clears throat> what was the source of unending joy for wally yes yes anshika you can answer yes anshika rohani next answer you will give the source of unending joy uh, for wally was to stand stand at the front door of her house and enjoy the things going on the road mm -hmm. watching the street gave her many new unusual experiences also oh, very good okay she... mm -hmm. right yes you can carry on a strong uh, even uh, while standing at the door she used to see a bus which used to go from her village to the town and it was her strongest desire to to be uh, to be seated in that bus for one mm -hmm. yes right so what was the strongest desire for wali that wali's strongest desire or source of unending joy was to see the daily bus that was going or that was running between the village and the town okay and each time he used to see that bus she was filled a new kind of joy as well as inspiration to have a ride in that bus okay that was really a source of unending joy for wali and what was her strongest desire her strongest desire to have a ride in that bus at once as she has never got a chance to ride in that bus okay so next is what did wali find out about the bus journey and how did she find out these details so what did she find out about that bus journey yes rohani you can answer now no no answer by raghav sadana no or never answer uh, i have never got any answer from raghav aroda also you know, otherwise in the class raghav you are quite active yes ruhani during the bus journey wali discovered that the bus ride between her hamlet and the town that was 6 miles distant mm 
Mm-hmm. It took forty five minutes in the way. She mm-hmm. also discovered that the one way cost for the journey was thirty paise. Very good. Absolutely right. Then, how did she find these details? Hmm. So, how did she find these details? She listened to the various conversations between the people. Who are really going to the town by boarding that bus? She they have she has also asked some discreet questions from the neighbors as well as the other people who were standing in the street about the timings of the bus and about the fare or the one sided fare that is required to board the bus. Okay, so finally she picked up various details about the bus which were required in order to continue her journey. Right, so. the last question of this comprehension is what do you think wali was planning to do what she was planning to do mam wali was planning to go out to the town and then return back by the same bus okay but she was planning her journey okay and she has planned that she would take 1 o'clock bus and by that she would be back to her house by 2:45 pm and that would be quite an appropriate time for her because during that time her mother used to take nap in the afternoon and that was the perfect time that she is always choosing in order to have uh, to have a round around the village so she thought that this is the perfect time for her okay so that's all for this chapter till now and uh, two parts of comprehensions are left oral comprehension questions that we will discuss also and let me tell you that um, the day after tomorrow um, i will ask for the poster that we have given to you okay so prepare it you will be sending it to me okay online and ultimately these are really very valuable for your internal assessment activities so don't lose these marks as you know what kind of situation is prevailing okay so you know what is the importance of each and every activity each and every mark that you will get uh, after you can say completion of these activities all right so that's all for today and in the next class we will continue with the further question answers okay